This is Dr. Koji Tamayo of Osaka City University in Japan, and I am speaking to you today about my JBJS article, Heated Tobacco Products, Impair Cell Viability, Osteoplastic Differentiation, and Bone Fracture Healing. You know, these are combustible cigarettes, and this is a heated tobacco product. In Japan, heated tobacco has been available since 2014s, and to date, one out of four Japanese smokers use this item. In the US, on the other hand, the FDA approved heated tobacco in 2019, and its use is expected to increase significantly. Heated tobacco is believed to be safe because of the producer's claims. However, we had suspicious regarding to the effect of heated tobacco on fracture healing. Thus, we performed current research. I'd like to pass the baton to Dr. Kazuya Nishino, who actually handled the research. Thanks, Dr. Tamai. To proceed with this research, we had to create cigarette smoke liquid extract from heated tobacco products which has never been reported. I would like to show the smoking machine created from scratch by trial and error. The extraction should be performed in a hum fu to avoid burning the laboratory. Using the smoke extract made in this way, we performed the in vivo and in vitro experiments. As a result, we found that the use of heated tobacco impairs cell viability and osteoblastic differentiation to a similar degree as that with combustible cigarettes. Furthermore, heated tobacco decreased bone mineral content, newborn volume, and weakened the biomechanical properties of the femoral shaft in a rat osteotomy model. According to findings of this study, heated tobacco has a negative impact on bone fracture healing comparable to that with combustible cigarettes. Thus, practitioners must explain to patients with fracture that they should stop smoking heated tobacco. Now, let's return to Dr. Tamai and ask him to talk about his future prospects. Again, we verify that heated tobacco use also has a negative impact on bone fracture healing. The remaining issue for us is to determine the adequate period of cessation. We, as physicians, must tell patients to undergo heated tobacco cessation before surgery that requires bone union. However, there is no clear information on the necessary duration. Hence, we consider this is our future task and we already have started the work. Thank you.